Hey everyone, Gary Simon of Corsetro. So today I'm gonna to talk about a real important topic and that is taking, you know, something like Vue.js or React or, or uh, Angular and making them search engine friendly. So in the context of Vue.js, by default, the default behavior when you create your app and you upload it is that no search engine crawlers will be able to actually see the content. Therefore, it's not gonna rank in Google for crap. All right, so there's two solutions for this. First is what's called SSR, server-side rendering. And then second is pre-rendering. All right, so in the case of pre-rendering, which is what we're going to look at, it definitely makes more sense to utilize the pre-rendering option if your project meets the following criteria. First, there can't be like a ton of pages and routes because it will take forever when you run the npm run build command in order to uh, compile all of it. Uh, second, it can't really be extremely dynamic and rely on user generated content. And also uh, the content really can't change frequently. So in the context of like a simple website that you just want to rank, maybe it's for a personal service of some sort where you know you're not going to be updating it a ton and it's relatively simple, but you wanna be able to use all the awesome features of Vue.js for the front end, then pre-rendering makes sense. All right, so you'll understand exactly how this all works as we start to build this out from scratch. So first two things I just wanna mention. First, I there's a written version of this tutorial that you can find at the site. The first link's here uh, in the description. Uh, in the very first line, you can access that in case you wanted the access to all the code. Of course, it's free. And then second, I'm planning on using the same exact process to build out a full project as a part of a course that I'm gonna be releasing probably within a week to 10 days from the upload date of this video. So make sure you check that out. That will also be linked here. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So <clears throat> let me close this out real quickly. Oh, but real quick, before we begin, make sure you check out my site, CourseCetro.com, where you're going to find a bunch of courses on modern design and development. A lot are free, and the others you can access for the cost of buying me like a six-pack each month. That's it. Now, also, it probably wouldn't hurt to subscribe here on YouTube, and be sure to make sure the notifications are turned on. All right, let's get back to it. The very first thing we want to do is we're going to use the, um, the view command line interface or the CLI to start a new project. So first, I'm not gonna cover how to install the Vue CLI. Uh, if you don't have it, just Google it. It's very, very simple. You're just gonna need the node package manager. So Vue, init, and we're gonna use a, uh, a template called webpack hyphen simple, and then we're gonna name it Vue hyphen static. All right, so this is gonna take just uh, a second and it's going to ask us some questions. I'm just going to hit enter, yes or enter, 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 use SAS. I mean, if you want SAS support, go ahead and hit Y. Otherwise, I'm going to hit N because I'm not going to be doing any actual designing here. All right, so now we want to CD into it and then we're going to run npm install. All right. So basically, if you're confused as to what pre rendering is, I basically what it's gonna do is you're gonna run a command called npm run build. And when it does that, it's gonna go through Webpack and it's going to essentially pre-render. It's gonna take all of our content that's a part of our view components and our templates and bake it right into the HTML, all right? So that way you upload the contents of the distribution folder and there you go, it works right out of the gate with all the awesome view features, but these search engine spiders can, and their bots can uh, access the content in order to make it rank. All right, so this just finished, and now we're going to install the actual pre-render plugin. All right, so npm install. All right, pre-render, SPA plugin. We're also going to install another one called HTML Webpack plugin, and then we're going to save them both as, as dev dependencies right here. All right, so it just finished here. I'm gonna clear this out. And now what I wanna do is go ahead and also use NPM to install the view router because we're gonna be setting up routes in order to demonstrate uh, this plugin. And we're gonna save it just as a regular project dependency. All right, great. So once that's all done, I'm gonna put in code period and that just uh, is gonna launch my Visual Studio Code Editor. It's free by the way. And here we go. 
All right, so we have our ViewStatic project opened up. And the first thing we want to do is work within our Webpack config JS file. All right, so let me increase the size of this just a bit so you can see it. And we want to add variables for both of the plugins that we just installed. All right, so I'm going to paste these right here. And by the way, I'm simply copying and pasting the, the code here because I don't want to sit here and type all this out uh, from the written tutorial. So it has, as you can see, all this information that I'm just going through here. All right, so next on line 10, we have to change the public path property from dist just to a forward slash. Otherwise, when it goes, uh, when, we run, when we run the npm run dev command, uh, it's not gonna work correctly. So next down here, under plugins, uh, we're going to be adding two plugins, which are basically both um, of which we, we j just installed. And notice it, it, we, it's all contained within an if process node environment equals production. All right, so right here, I'm gonna go ahead and just copy the first one. All right, so we're gonna say right here. All right, so I'm pasting it right here just beneath this Webpack defined plugin. We have our HTML Webpack plugin that we already installed. It's simply specifying a template of index.html and then telling where to place it. Now, so the reason we're adding this is because the Webpack simple template that we use to generate this project with the Vue CLI, it does not include it default in the Webpack output. Um, next, we're going to add the pre-renderer plugin just after it, right here. All right, so this is where all the magic occurs essentially. So what we're saying is I, we're finding the path of the distribution folder. And then right here is where we list out all of the routes that we want to pre-render. So you'll have to obviously hand code these in based on the requirements of your, your website or your app or whatever. All right, so we're just gonna have two. It's just uh, you know the, the basic forward slash and then also an about. Under here with this object here with options, we're gonna add to this uh, in a little bit, but we're just gonna keep it like this for now. All right, so next we have to create the routes. So this stuff isn't specific to, um, you know, the, the, the pre-renderer, this is just, we just need to set up the routes, we don't have it set up. So uh, the first thing we'll do is create a folder inside a source called routes, or router rather. And inside of here, we'll create index.js. So we're gonna, uh, just paste from the written tutorial real quickly, a very basic routes file. This is actually what you get when you use uh, the view create uh, command with the view CLI. And very simple, you know, we're just importing the about component and the home component. These to two don't yet exist, we'll create them shortly. And then we're just defining our routes. So um, we're binding the, the component of home to the name of home, and that will be at the path of just uh, the root path. And then same thing with about, just forward slash about, about component, simple. All right, so let's save that. And next, we're gonna go and create the about.view and home.view in the source folder. So let's just click on a file here in source or source itself, create about.view and also home.view. And if you wanted to put these inside of a components directory instead, you could do that. All right, so the very first one, we'll say in the home.view, we're just gonna make a template. It's not gonna have any logic, although it could, but we're not. Uh, and we're gonna say div class of home. We'll just put in an H1 of home, and then this is my lovely home page. how awesome. So this section right here is what we wanna see when we view the source, when we go ahead to run this at the very end. That way we'll know that the search engine spiders will be able to crawl it. So let's save that. Next, we're inside of about.view. We're gonna do the same thing. So about, and there we go. Div class about, about, about me point one, two, three. I, I decided to put an unordered list here simply uh, just to create some different HTML to look at, whatever. All right, so we'll save that. And then next we wanna open up the main JS file right here, and then we have to import the router. So um, real quickly, let me just paste in the imports, just two lines which is view router, and then also the router file. And second, we want to paste in view.use router, and then right here, simply reference it 
in the second argument here, router. All right, let's save that. And then we also need to mod modify the app.view real quickly right here, All right, Because right now it doesn't have the router uh, in bed right here or um, a navigation or whatever. So what we'll do is I'm just gonna delete everything from our unordered list to our H2. And then I'm just gonna quickly paste in from the written tutorial, this stuff right here. So we just have paragraph, router link, home, about, and then the router view. Again, all basic stuff when it comes to routing, nothing really specific to this tutorial. All right, so next one tiny little thing that we need to do is we're gonna go to our index.html and remove this line number nine right here, the script source equals distribution build.js uh, because when our plugins run through this, it overwrites this, but it will add its own script. And so if you don't remove this, you end up with two script uh, includes and this one breaks because that uh, location of the file doesn't exist. All right, so after you're done doing that, I, we could theoretically run this, but you wouldn't have any titles, uh, like page titles in the title HTML element. And of course, if you're concerned about SEO, you're gonna wanna do that. So before we run this to give it a test, let's go ahead and do that real quick. So let's go back to our Webpack config JS. And here's the options. By the way, you can take a look at all of the options that are available by taking a look at the pre-renderer SPA plugin website. And you'll see it shows all the options right here and in terms of what they do. This part right here, the post-process HTML section will provide you with more information uh, about what we're about to do right here. So what I'm going to, going to do real quick is simply copy from the written tutorial, paste in right here in options, this section right here. So what's happening is, is very simple. The only part that you really need to mind is just the titles object right here. And we have, okay, first the path, and then the title that we want to be associated with that path. So next we have an about path. So we're gonna say my awesome about page. So if this works, when we view the source, it will show the title element in HTML with my awesome about page when we refresh it. All right, so that's basically it. If we did this right, then we can now open up our console, find it real quick and run npm run build. All right, so hopefully this goes without a hitch. And if you get up your, um, right here, see, we can see the dist folder has now been created. It's not done yet. All right, so now it's done and it's telling us what files have been created and we can see them right here. So we have our about directory, that's great. Index.html. All right, let's go ahead and give this an actual try. So the way we need to do this is to serve it up on a web server or a server of some sort. So we're gonna CD into the dist folder and then we're going to run HTTP server. Now, if you don't have the HTTP server package installed globally, all you have to do is type in npm install HTTP hyphen server and then hyphen G, uh, and that will install it. So once that's installed, hit enter, and then we'll go to our browser real quick, localhost 8080. All right, so this works. We could see we have our ugly HTML right here. And if I hit control shift I, with any luck, uh, we have a fave icon that's not showing up. I'm not really worried about that, um, but there should be no other errors. Now, whether or not this works is based on this section right here in the elements. So if we open up our div ID app, normally without this pre-renderer plugin, it would be empty. Um, but now we could see we have our H1 element and the main element with for our home component, there we go. It's H1 home, and this is my lovely home page. The search engine spiders would be able to see this and correctly index it for the purpose of ranking. Now, how about about? Oh, by the way, we can see we have my homepage up here. All right, about, it doesn't change when you click from here, but if you refreshed at this URL, we'll see it does say my awesome home or my awesome about page. So now 
open up our elements here. And there we go, we have our unordered list in our about. So now at this point, all you would do is just upload the dist folder uh, to a server somewhere and it would work. And so you would have the benefit of having a view JS app and your um, search engine friendly content. All right, guys, so hopefully you enjoyed that. Again, check out the links here. Um, if you're watching this a day or two or you know a week after I've uploaded this, I may not have it ready yet, but I do have a full course that's planned uh, where I'm gonna show you this process except building out a like a full app um, where we're gonna touch on every subject, identity design, um, effective layout design, animations, et cetera. All right, so make sure to subscribe here if you haven't yet, and I'll talk to you guys real soon. All right, goodbye.